All right, Wilson, I got Raylan's treats on here, man. So you remember that big roast? Did you see me cut up the roast? Anyway, we get like a two pound roast. We chop it up in the little beef tips. And this is Raylan's treats. He loves them smoked, unseasoned, of course. But then we got my ribs over there because and they're seasoned because I, I like seasoned food. Anyhow, we got to do another speaker comparison. So we just did a video on the motion or the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus versus the Soundcore Boom 2. So this one is done, okay? So what, what speaker are we going to next, bro? I think we should check in with the Motion Boom Plus. That makes sense. I, I like the way you think. Let me get this to the white. All right, thanks, dear. Uh, motion, motion Boom Plus? Motion Boom Plus. Raylan, your treats are inside. She took them. Go get them. <laughs> Go get the shit. <laughs> he gone, man. He's like, what? What? Snacks? <laughs> all right. So, dude, we are comparing speakers. We vibing out all day. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, welcome back to the channel. New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Let's just pick another speaker, Richardson, because today we are checking out a comparison, a quick one of the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus versus the Soundcore, the all new Soundcore Boom 2 Plus. So we got Soundcore speakers here, man. Let's put this one in the background. I got the Boom 2 Plus just sitting here, just vibing, just jamming. I ain't heard this song yet. I always download these songs from uh, the Epidemic, Epidemic Sounds. Yeah. And I just hear the beat at first and then I put them on my playlist and I never listen to them until times like this. All right, man, you've been listening to this speaker kind of off and on all day. How you feeling about it? That sounds so good. All right, you wasn't feeling it at first. Well, you were feeling it. You just was like, ah, 250, I don't know. Yeah. That's a little high for Soundcore, right? You guys think Soundcore is boosting up their prices? 249 is the launch retail price for this. Wilson said, I don't know. I wasn't sure if it was worth it. At first. <laughs> at first. Now at you first. now you with me? I'm with you. Now, now. you with me? Because they're telling they're telling us that this is the best uh Bluetooth speaker for under four hundred dollars. I like that sound core. I see what you did there. Cause now you're not competing with the likes of the JBL Boombox 3 or the Sony Altfield 7. You're competing with things of the Extreme 3 or the uh the Bose Soundlink or even yourself because the retail price for this uh, Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is 179, dude. 179. That's crazy. So yes, it's bigger, it's badder, but that's a big difference in price, but it's also a big difference in speaker because you're getting a lot of the same, but you're, they're, you're also getting more. So here you're getting, I think this is 24 hours of battery. Let me, let me just double check. I pulled up the website here. Oh, no, no, no. You're getting up to 20 hours, Tw up to 20 hours on the Motion Boom Plus, and you're getting up to 20 hours on the Boom 2 Plus. So battery life stays the same. Uh, you still have two woofers here, two woofers, or I call them dy dynamic, dynamic range. So two woofers or dynamic, <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> two dynamic range drivers right here. And then you got your two tweeters. You got the same here, but actually, these are bigger. I think these are like four inches. These, this is something else. That could be a four. I don't know. I don't. I'm not. I'm untechnical. But they look a little bigger on the Boom Two Plus. And then, uh, spec-wise, you still have a lot of the same durability. You got the water industry. Oh, this is different. So with the Motion Boom Plus, is that right? Motion Boom Plus. Yep, yeah. Motion Boom Plus. With the Motion Boom Plus, you got IP67. With the Boom Two Plus, you have IPX7 slightly different. If that makes a real difference for you, then that might help you determine which one you need because I don't know what the number means anymore. I've kind of forgotten, but one of them is less waterproof than the other. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, let me see here. What else is a little different? All right. So 80 Watts here, max where they're claiming up to 140 on the, uh, the boom two plus, but then that's where, you know, everything kind of just starts to I don't know. Let's talk about it. Build quality. So we have a bigger speaker here, a more hefty speaker, a more robust, grabbable handle, but you still have a handle on both. And of course, everybody knows about the strap that comes with the uh, Motion Boom Plus. I'm going to, this is full disclosure. This is not my speaker. <laughs> I actually had to borrow this. I gave this to my neighbor as a gift 
<laughs> and uh, I didn't have it anymore. So I needed to do this video. So I was like, bro, can I borrow that speaker I gave you? I need to do a video. So he just handed me this and did give me the strap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but it does come with a strap and it goes on these shackles right here. But what I did notice is the the uh, the original uh, the the strap, it has the the clip like a what is it? What do you call that thing? The oh, it's, it's similar to like a carabiner, but just like yeah, almost like a carabiner kind of clip that clips on this shackle. Uh, I don't like that. It, they don't do that here. They do it different with the um, with the boom two plus and I don't know if I'm a fan of it the way it kind of just yeah it's just like a hook and loop you see that's a hook and loop system and then you just kind of loop it in there and then you do that maneuver and then you're in there but you don't have the swivel so I don't like not having a swivel I don't like my straps all twisted and tied so that could make a big difference for someone let's look at the speaker booty is there a difference in the speaker booty that's, this one don't want to open up let me, let me get in there. All right, there we go. Oh, snap. Okay, so we have, look at this, Wilson. In the Motion Boom Plus, we got the USB-C input, and then we have the charge out with the charge IQ, um, and then we have an auxiliary port. In the Boom 2 Plus, we're missing something. We are missing something. Look at this. See what's missing? The USB-A. You can charge in and out via USB-C. And then you have your auxiliary still, which is fantastic, but you're missing that USB-A in the speaker booty of the Boom 2. For some people, that's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? To me, I don't really care. I'm just glad you got that auxiliary port because the other day we needed... Oh my God. <laughs> we needed auxiliary. <laughs> we we were needed. stressing out about that. We did not have it, man. It was a big fail. All right, check out these uh, passive radiators. You got lights on this joint. So you got lights on the Boom Plus, or the Boom 2 Plus, and it's solid dude that is freaking solid it sounds like people it, talk yeah. about plastic being cheap on you know some of these speakers i i don't think we can say that no more this is like abs car like tank plastic you know if you go to the united states military this is the plastic they use it <laughs> and then you got the lights right here which you can control you can dim them or change them right here you just got old school this is philly this is different plastic man Oh, it is. It's a completely different plastic. Yeah, this is this is still solid, dude. I, I trust it. Anyways, I guess the only thing we need to compare now, what do you think, Wilson? We, gonna we hear how sound they sound at this point? Yeah, we gotta see how they sound. All right, we gotta let the people know. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna ride out, man. I'm gonna go ahead and play a sound sample A, B testing between the two, and y'all keep being good to each other, and we'll see you when we see you. <laughs> Yeah, I made the realest ones nervous, but if you want it, tap in. 